All right, what's up in smoke? We back out here with another one today. We are at Hot Pit Auto Fest drift event. These drift events are lit. A whole bunch of less rules in Formula Drift, and it's in a really nice spot. We're in the NOS Event Center. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. There's supposed to be a hurricane coming this weekend or whatever, tropical storm. I don't even know, but I think that's why it looks like this. But the last time it was over 100 degrees. So honestly, I prefer it to be like this. So we're gonna make our way in there and I already hear the drift cars going. So let's go check out the show. Making our way in right now is super windy. I'm sure that affects just drifting somehow, like pushing the car around more than you would want it. But it is super comfortable for me because I am not sweating. It is like the best weather ever right now. So I'm happy. About to check in right now. We got our tickets ready and let's go see what cars we can find. I don't know if you guys remember a few weeks back when we came out here, but this whole area was completely flooded. I think it's because it was like a clean culture. It's so loud right now, but whatever. There's a lot, lot less people here and a lot less cars, but I'm still gonna go walk around and I'm gonna show you some fire, fire show cars. It may be copyrighted, so it can't do too much, but I'll try my best. Ah, right, yeah. There is one fire F80 M3. I think it's F80, whatever, but it got a sick seat. Exchange, swap, whatever you want to call it. You can tell like awesome yellow. I think that's the name of it. But look at the honeycomb carbon on the back of the seat. That is sick. We got it on the shifter. And you can kind of see it on the side of the seat too. That is fire. There's a whole bunch of 350s right now, so I got to show you them. And I got to show you this one because it's probably one of my favorites. It's a little beat up, but the body kit is sick. I love body kits to have the wheels hanging out like that where you can see the thread. And then you got the front fender, carbon, whatever you want to call it. This is sick too. Now, this is another car right up my alley. Now we're back at the Hondas. One crispy, crispy clean EG hatch at that. I don't think the camera does the paint justice, I always say, but that whole quarter panel and door, the fitment is literally perfect. And it's right hand drive. This is sick. And it got RPF ones. For fake RPFs, but pretty clean. I feel like we've seen this one last time we were around. This is a full wide body without all the ghetto rivets, all that stuff. This is just like crispy clean. You see the rear quarter panel just dirty. I believe it's supercharged and everything. I would, I would, I would take one of these cars. This is sick with the work VS run. Anyways. What's up? We got some free stuff to throw. I got some. Uh, Look at the back, how the fitment is. That is sick. You can literally barely even fit a uh, card in there. You got the whole inside done up. Tesla screen. That is sick. Oh, now, this is a little different. Everything else been 350s. You barely see the 370s out here because it's more expensive, but this one's pretty clean, man. This is sick. I think it's just stock with intakes, but I never really see people do calipers this color, and that is just crispy.
Hi, I got word that we could go to the pits and actually see the cars that drifted away. We don't have to stay on this side. Like we've seen enough drifting, so we're gonna come to this side and get a closer look at all these cars that are really drifting. This is one sick drift car to see. I love E46s, which if I'm wrong, you can correct me. I'm pretty sure it's E46. Probably one of the best drift cars you can get. Fully done on the inside. They're working on it right now, so. Can't really get in the middle of that. It's cool to be able to see all these cars up close because you get to learn different ways you can set up your car when it's your time. It's not my chance yet, but when it is, I learned so much stuff on so many different setups. Even for my Civic, when I was trying to build that, I take a lot of inspiration from learning from cars like this. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and this is like a supercharged LS and S14. This is insane though. Bunch of Holly parts on it. Big pulley for the supercharger. And the livery is just sick. Look at that trunk. Fuel cell. Radiator fans. Big battery in the back. Another battery there. This is sick. I love these Beamers. I used to have my own E90, E92, but I've never had it all done up like this. Fully wide body, has a swap, I believe. I heard it last time. I think it was like an LS. I don't even honestly know. But just the over fenders and the Nardo really gets me. And then the lime green offsets it perfectly. Literally perfect. This is sick. After you guys have talked about ESR, well, he's drifting on these.
Here is another sick grip build. He was just competing. Again, I think it's an LS. I could be wrong. I don't really know too much, but wide angle, crazy feel suspension kit. I really like how they did this delivery. It pops nice and bright. It's another sick build I've seen from before. It's a Miata, no roof, nothing, full roll bar, custom everything. Now, what engine? I don't even know. Oh, this is a three rotor. That is sick. So they crammed the three rotor inside one of the newer edition Miatas. And they added the big, big boost to it. That is sick. These are new things. I definitely need to get a filter for my turbo. I cannot leave mine just chilling like that. People knew where uh, Rudy Hansen came from, which car he drove in the beginning. He drove a You guys already know between nardo blues and lime green these are like the craziest colors i like you got the whole roll cage painted in lime green full e-brake that is sick we got this e46 the purple livery same gotta be a highlight in this another ridiculous drift build look how they did the trunk this is literally all gutted out and just nothing but a nitrous bottle in it the firewall the exhaust is hanging so low to the floor this is just sick kept a lot of the stock interior might be all motor i don't know this is cool though it's crazy build yeah it just stayed in it like i you can cool to see them really get down and keep it stuck as possible for the dash and interior What did it have in it? LS? Yeah, with the 383 stroker in it. Okay. Big cam and everything. I built it. I like the color. The purple with the green is sick. Oh, damn. I painted it. Wait, oh, this is paint? I didn't yeah. even realize that. So who drives it? It's me. You drive it, built it, painted it, everything? Fire, fire. Yeah. Appreciate it. Just look at my, we're looking at all the cages, everybody. This is like one of the only or few Mustangs running in this. I like the brown with the gold. Definitely sets it up nice. Sick. Got the NRG seats. Chase Bay Z brake. Looks like the alignment's a little off if you ask me, but whatever, still cool. I think this might be the cleanest drip build here. Besides it missing a headlight, this is super crispy. I don't know if it's paint, wrap, whatever. Look how sick the whole livery is with the wheels and everything. 
And then he literally cut this carbon fiber hood into shreds so he could fit this manifold for the LS in there. But that is sick. This car was literally just drifting when we were walking over here to Supra. It sounded like it could be a rotary. I honestly don't even know what's in it, but it's so high pitch, it is insane. They're currently working. We don't want to get too close and interrupt whatever they're doing, but that is sick. Now this is sick. The livery is super fire. It got like carbon Kevlar mixed with the camouflage, but it has a GTR engine from the R35. I don't know how we put that in there or got it to work, but our R35 engine in the Supra. All right, y'all, we came to Hot Pit Auto Fest, seen all the show cars, seen most of the drift cars up close and personal, met a driver or two, pretty cool time. The weather is not so nice, but it is what it is. Now it's time for you guys to drop a like, a comment, subscribe, post notification on. Like, what else you want me to tell you? You already know. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, though, man. Peace.